Welcome to Big D, Dallas, Texas, and the house the Pony Express built. Dickerson and James and SMU hoping to restore the glory and get things started in this one. And while today is the final home game of the season for one team, it is more importantly a celebration, Senior Day. As we'll see, the winners of four straight, the California Golden Bears, taking on the 20th ranked team in the land, the SMU Mustangs. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. So the SMU Mustangs offense will get the first swing of the game. And here comes their leader, Jesse. He just has a way of elevating everybody's play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football. Finds the open guys, and he makes this offense go. Makes it. Oh, they knock it free. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. They bring him down, but that great defensive play might be overturned. Let's see what the call is. This defense happy with how that last play turned out. So they'll decline the penalty. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. Not able to hook up there, incomplete. And now on second down for this offense. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Quickly to the tight end. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. And the Golden Bears in the hurry up. They'll give it to the back. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Power football with the run. How about that determined run inside the red zone? He's got six. It's down at the 12. They're going to try to throw for it on third down using the quick game. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. The Golden Bears have this offense rolling. They'll go to the air. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for 6. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Cal. I don't know exactly what the defensive coverage was, but it certainly wasn't part of the plan to leave him that wide open. Well, I don't, I don't think they know what their defensive coverage was either. How do you leave that big guy open down here in the red zone? You know the quarterback loves the big tight ends in this area. Really poor job by the defense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. So they start in a great spot, move the ball 34 yards, and they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. And he takes this from inside the 5. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger stat in football than turnovers. You turn the football over, they turn it into points. Jesse, that is not a recipe for success. Good news, though, they get another chance, right? They can make amends with this drive right here. That's all that's important. You've got to execute and you've got to lock in. And it's incomplete, but there's a flag in the backfield. Let's see who the call's on. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. 
He's going to go down, and he's in his own end zone. It's going to be a safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field, put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. After getting caught for a safety, they're lined up and ready to kick it off. He'll bring it back. It's Anderson. They get him stopped, and he was close to taking that one a long ways down at the 38. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The best way this offense can say thanks for that two spot is by following it up with a score of their own, David. Really fun when your defense does that, when they get you back to football, and they score some points, Palmer. Put those points up on the board. Usually brag about it, especially defensive. We got more points than you, but good opportunity for this offense to get more. Yeah, it's a uh, you scratch my back, I scratch yours kind of thing right now. I'll tell you, if this offense is able to go down the field and put up a touchdown, this could be a potentially 9 to 10 point swing based on your defense getting you that safety. Can anyone catch him? They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. And the Golden Bears are in the hurry up. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. On the option. And he never had a chance to get the pitch off on the option as he's tackled in the backfield. Defense getting stingier in their own end of the field. It's third and long from the 28. They're bringing heat. Gets away. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. This one will be a 45-yard attempt, and he'll kick it from the left side. And it's right down the boulevard. And now the lead is even bigger. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. you got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. And the Mustangs come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll try the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Let's see what they've got on second down. Give to the back. They stop him cold. Maybe gets a yard to the 34. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. The Mustangs send out the punt unit. Able to get the first one of the day away. They did have to send him out three times in that victory last week. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake. 
but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's for the play caller right now, just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, baby. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field, just executing. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And I'm putting that one in my back pocket. I'm going to start. I'm going to highlight it. That blitz came home. We are going to need that down the road, and I'll be ready to call that one. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. Looking to pass. It's Rodgers. Got his man quickly. Smashes through. He was able to reach into his bag of tricks and use it to pick up a few extra yards. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. It's really hard when you get in those predictable situations. Defenses are sitting on the sticks. Receivers have to understand where that first down marker is. Heads up play, nose for the first down marker. Get in there and get it. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. It'll be a draw. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. The Golden Bears will hustle to the line. To the ground with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After that last loss, it's second and 12. You know when you're playing against a defense of this caliber, you're going to have to have some sort of balance, right? You can't just drop back and throw it every single play. Nothing going on that last run. They're going to have to find another way to get it going, handing the ball. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. He's looking downfield to throw. He'll try to do it himself. Get every inch you can, but don't take the big hit. Great job by the quarterback. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. And it's no good after the failed field goal attempt still a 12-point game. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. From the gun, running back on the move. At midfield, he's got room. Offense on the move. A big play there, gets it to the 30. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big gain. i got to make sure I shut this down the next time they run it. They made the defense pay with that last big chunk of yardage. Now first and 10 from the 30. They'll give it to Johnson. Not much room. A pickup of two down to the 28. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. It's a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Trying to pick up a first down. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. On third down, he drops to throw. Nowhere to go with the ball, and down he goes at the 39. 
on third and long, you yeah. know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. From 56 yards out, what a power leg. Never a doubt about that one. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. So they were able to put up the three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Cal gets it back, the sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Golden Bears come to the line in the hurry up. And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker, you can tell. Locked in on the quarterback, chases him down, gets to him. Now he gets to him, doesn't let him break a tackle, gets him on the ground. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flag. To throw, it's Rodgers getting some heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Quick strike complete. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. The Golden Bears will line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Playing the field position game as he makes the fair catch right at the 50. A first down for the offense. The inside handoff. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. He'll run it again. Shakes off the defender. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Discards a man. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. First down for the offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. Quarterback feeling that pressure, and he's knocked down at the 42. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. The give to the tailback. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. And the Mustangs will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. It'll go out of bounds, and we'll see where they mark it. It's going to be right around the 35. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. They'll go to the ground. 
He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Golden Bears racing to the line in the hurry up. To the air, it's Rodgers. Quarterback needs to make a better throw there, incomplete. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Gets it out quickly. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Golden Bears will punt this one away. This will be a second time they've had to kick it away. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. This drive opens up at the 23-yard line. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. This defense has taken the game over. They're winning the game in large part because of how dominant they've been up front and how good their pass rush has been. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. Running to the left. Twist his way through. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Fires to the middle. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. The Mustangs line up to punt it away. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And they'll stop it just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Gets it out fast. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. That's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hand. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Oh, and they corral the ball, so they avoid the turnover, but, man, did they lose a chunk of yardage. Good presence of mind by the quarterback there to not panic when the ball went on the ground and able to get it back. I just like to see better ball security, Reese, from the quarterback, too. You know, you got to keep two hands on the ball at all times. It doesn't matter. You're looking downfield. You know you're going to have guys around you trying to swat away at the football. Got to keep two points of pressure at minimum on that ball, and the quarterback lucky to fall on that one. Complete to the right. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. And the Golden Bears decide to punt it away. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. To the air, it's Stone. Pressure coming. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. 
And defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. He wants to throw here on second down. Finds a tight end. That had all the makings of bug meat windshield, but how about the wolf corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And the Mustangs will call on their punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Bringing it back, it's Hunter. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Looking for a productive play on first down. He's going to pass. It's complete. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. And they got him for the sack. And that's a great job by the defense not letting that bird out of the cage. When you can run like this guy can, you got to keep the edge. Did a great job. He went backwards, retreated, gave up some ground that didn't give up the outside, got the sack on the play. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. They'll go to the counter play. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock and they'll get a quick breather. This is a third and long. On the run, it's Ock. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. We got a timeout here late in the first half and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. The Golden Bears will try to pin them back with the punt. No return coming here as he signals for the Bear catch and makes it right around the 30-yard line. Just over 20 seconds to play before halftime. They'll have it first and 10. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Running back searching for a hole. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Quickly complete. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. The Mustangs have it with a first and ten. Looking for a man. It's Stone. Feeling some heat. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to him. And the ball's loose in the backfield. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Dallas to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, 
Let's send it back to the guys at Gerald J. Ford Stadium. And the Mustangs will kick it off to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Makes the catch and steps out of bounds, but short of the first down mark. And the Golden Bears want to pick up the tempo. From the gun, give on the inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They'll try to snap it quickly. Looking for a man, it's Rodgers. And they can't make the play on third down. The Golden Bears will bring the punt team onto the field. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Take the return out of the equation in this rainy weather. Fair catch is signaled for and made. And let's see what kind of ball plays this offense has ready. The give to the back. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Grabbed behind the line. It's Smith. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, there's an example of the quarterback just creating on the fly because I think that was supposed to go to the running back on a screen, and he just saw an open guy downfield and said, I don't know, I'm just going to throw it down to this dude. He's wide open. I know that's not how we drew it up, but we'll take it. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. They'll run the screen. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And finally, a little production in the passing game. That has been sorely lacking in this one. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position. And the running back sold it, too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and green field out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. The Mustangs are moving quickly down the field. It's reverse. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost yardage on that last one. It's second and 11. Trying play action. Nowhere close on that one as he got thrilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Offense facing fourth down. They'll try it on the ground. And the Mustangs get enough for the first down. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. They'll try to get it in with the run. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. If you don't tip the scales in three bills, stay on the sidelines. Big boys in the goal line D. On second and goal, they give it to him again. See if he's got a nose for the goal line. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. Sometimes we ask coaches about halftime adjustments, and they go blah, 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 blah. And then sometimes they make some good ones. <laughs> sometimes that blah, 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 blah actually works, but it's working now, but it might be too little too late. At least you got the party started. On to attempt the try. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They march 58 yards for the touchdown on that one. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. 
Snags it over the middle. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And the Golden Bears want to crank the tempo. Back to throw, it's Rodgers. A little screen to the running back. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Let's see what they do on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Steps away. Kept it and he's past the marker. They finally corral him and he turns that into a big gain and a first down. The Golden Bears will line it up on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Fires left. Got his man all by himself. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. This offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. They'll throw it on first down. The short hands, it's Matthews. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Looking to move it through the air. Quarterback just flat missed it, incomplete. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Buys a little time with his feet. They won't let him in. He had a nose for that end zone, but he will be stopped short. The defense trying to make a stand on third and goal. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Golden Bears! Coaches say, we can't play you if you don't do what you're coached to do. We also can't play you if you only do what you're coached to do. That was just a great instinctive play. That's a lot of dudes, so I don't know what to do. What do you want me to do? All I know is that guy's fast, and he continues to break tackles and make plays and scramble outside the pocket. He can do it all, so I just I don't know what to do. And he made that extra point, the wet turf, no problem at all. So an 82-yard drive there, and they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Fires to the big fella. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. The Mustangs will send out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Running it back, it's Hunter. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. And the offense takes the field eager to go back to work. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Golden Bears want to move quickly. Wants to throw. It's Rodgers. Makes his connection. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. From the gun, wants to pass. Missed his receiver there, it's incomplete. The Golden Bears send out the punt unit. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. David, the punter.
Carter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the cover up. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a win. The best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. He's got his man, makes the grab. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. He'll try to get it through the air. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. And he's brought down after a nice game. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to throw, it's Stone. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. You can sense the frustration building on the field and on the sideline for this team because on paper, they're the better team. From a player standpoint, from a record standpoint, things just not going their way in this game. And someone's going to have to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. Just making a huge play, and he sets him up all the way down at the 14. They'll leave it with him. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Hit a little speed bump on this drive. It's second and 12. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the move. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, SMU! Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt, first half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak, it looked like it was ugly, but now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. The AT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own, so you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms and all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it, you can't measure it. And the momentum has swung to the other side. You've got to get it back. Now on first down from the 30. Finds his tight end. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. And the Golden Bears moving quickly to the line. And watch the offensive line here. They all block run. Because they're blocking run, the quarterback decides, oh, I got a favorable matchup. He dumps it out to the right, makes the right read, gets a nice positive game. They'll try to run for it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Looking for a block. It's Smith. 
Excellent coverage and tackle that time, and that's how the third quarter comes to a close. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. The give from the gun. He stopped at the 49 after gaining 10. A productive play is one that gets you at least halfway to another first down here on first and 10. Throwing right. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Wonder if they'll throw it again after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 49. Back to pass, it's stolen. Under heat, and he gets rid of it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Got his man! Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. And the Mustangs are rolling down the field. They'll run it from the gun. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It would be nice to pick up a few yards on third down, because from here, it's a 57-yard attempt. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the right. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. This game will come down to this. A field goal try to save them. And he's got it from 57. What a beauty. Man, this guy has an absolute bomb for a lay. You see the contact? It just sounded different. It sounded like an explosion coming off of his foot. Puts it through the uprights. There's NFL teams watching this game. They're jotting down this dude's name right now because that is an NFL Sunday lay. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Cal gets it back, the sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. From the gun, running back gets to give. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. The Golden Bears headed quickly to the line. Back to pass, it's Rodgers. Using the quick game. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. And the Golden Bears will line up to punt it away. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The Bear catch just inside the 40. Going up top on first down. And there was no way to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. It is hard to continue to get up and get up and get up like he has being sacked time after time again. But this QB, this offense, they're undeterred. They're continuing to put drives together, and most importantly, they're winning the football game. First down sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. On second down, he'll fire. They're setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Trying to get to it. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. The Mustangs will punt it away on fourth down. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. 
They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. But, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. And I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle it down. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. Dropping back, it's Rodgers. Fires to the wide out. Complete to the right. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, fine. Uh, I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his, that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Draws are such a smart way to take advantage of fast defensive linemen. They want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest, makes them realize they got to play the run, too. Great play call. Coming after it. Going to try to get it himself. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. The Golden Bears in the hurry up. And this is an offense that's going to find a way to generate explosive plays because of their playmakers at the skill spots. But how about the speed by this guy and his ability on third down to extend, scramble, and go get a big pickup in chunky yards for his offense. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. Well, the problem with the play-action game is that it forces the QB to hold on to the ball just a little bit longer to allow some of these plays to develop. And, of course, that gives this defense longer to get after him. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at 2nd and 13. He's looking to throw. Finds his man. It's Ott. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. On third down, going up top. Fires to the tight end. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. And the Golden Bears will snap it on first and ten. Leaves it with the running back. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Using his legs. It's up. They make the stop after a pickup of three balls at the 18. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. So this is going to be rife with drama and overflowing with pressure on this field goal try. Field goal is good. And they go back on top. All field goals are not graded equal, guys. Kicks in the fourth quarter to take the lead. They just seem to carry so much more weight. So give that young man credit for getting out there and knocking that thing through the uprights with all the pressure, all the eyeballs on him, he delivered. Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He'll do it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Now facing a third and long. To the air, it's Stone. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. The defense is just killing him. Success after success after success. If I'm the offense, I gotta change something up, or my quarterback's gonna be forced to change because he's gonna be in the injury tent.
And the Mustangs will punt this one away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. He's got great speed. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Cal gets it back. The sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. He's looking for an open man on second down. And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. Looking to throw. He's got his man. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Golden Bears line up to punt it away. Signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 20. Here's the conundrum for the defensive coordinator. Do you stay aggressive or do you protect and play a little more conservatively with the lead in just a few minutes left? Such great awareness along the sideline and the ability to get that foot down for the catch. We've reached a two-minute warning and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. They're working that left side. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waning moments. That could be a costly play. It's a one-score game late, and they've got to go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's going up top here late in the game. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, I think my thought process needs to be points are good, because if I get a field goal here, that's fine. I take the lead by more than a field goal. they got to go the length of the field. But I also want to run this clock, let it continue to work. But the goal is to get a touchdown. So let's see what this offense dials up next. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. He'll ride his man on the option. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Cal! The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 29, SMU, 20. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. Just a short pass to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Looking downfield, it's Jennings. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. Just gashing this defense. A big gainer to the 40-yard line. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. Trying to find his man on first down. Throws toward the end zone. Fires into traffic and intercepted. Taking it the other way. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock.
Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. And they'll take a knee. You know, there's no real reason to panic, but if you think about it, when does panicking ever really help? But certainly this was a bitterly disappointing outcome. And you can look at a lot of different statistics, and I know we tend to overcomplicate college football these days, but guys, at the end of the day, it comes down to two very simple things. You can't turn the ball over, and you can't have penalties. You do those things, David, and it'll beat you every time. Yeah, that's the difference between winning and losing. It's the small things, but find those things that you need to improve on, keep working on them, keep developing. Those things you do well, then let's do those. Let's do more of those things more consistently. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.